Hey man, it's Donnie Baker. Hope you don't mind if I let some exhaust fumes out after what I've witnessed today, which is basically proof our country's got no work ethnics. It starts when I take my truck to service department because Mopar called me and said I was supposed to go for a recall. Something about the tailgate needed a part, actuary or something. So I schedule an appointment and I get there and the dick's like, yeah, um, it's on back order. I said, you mean cause it's for the tailgate? He's like, no, we ain't got your part in stock. I'm like, well, you guys called me first, you know? And he's like, yeah, so just schedule another appointment. Felt like I went in for a pap smear and was on my period. So now I got to make two, two appointments. And then I just mentioned in passing, engine light was on, if they could delete the codes, you know? And he's like, yeah, so he goes and gets his Xbox or something. And then I said, and my USB ain't working. I plug my flip phone in to charge it. I can't even hear Alex Jones no more. And I'm hooked on that InfoWars. So he gets another guy. Then another dude comes out who looks at it. And then he's like, I'm going on smoke break. Then the first dude's like, I'm going on early lunch break. And then they said the other dude will be out, but right now he's on the shitter. So finally a dude comes out, and I'm trying to explain the USB cards. <sighs> well, I find out after a few seconds he's a deaf mute because he starts giving signs like a third base coach. So I spoke louder and explained what the problem was. He fixed it in like two seconds. I swear to God, the only man there that couldn't hear or couldn't speak was a lot more effective than four fuckers named Trent. And I'll say it right to their face. So then I'm starved. I go steak and shake, wait up at the bar because that's where your best service is. You can't be ignored at the bar. I was like, yeah, man, I'm going to do a bowl of vegetable soup. I need to get more vegetables. And Ten minutes later, she comes back, our soup ain't ready yet. Well, all soup ain't ready until you heat it up, Tina. What the fuck? So then I get pissed off. I speed off from there to go to Taco Bell. As soon as I walk in door at Taco Bell, it's like I broke in the place. Nobody was there. And finally, I look over the counter, and I see some Spaniard, but he had dreads. Some Spaniard in dreads, sound asleep. So I like, you know, there ain't no bell to ring like a bank. So I was like, hey, man. And he perks up like this. Starts rubbing sleep out of his eyes. You know when you get that crusty infection? So he's like, you ready to order? I'm like, yeah, I've been here, you know, watching your slumber. So he hollers to the back for some chick. Hey, there's a customer in front knows what he wants. She comes walking up with a mop and a bucket, okay, doing twice as many chores. She don't ask, can I help you? She don't ask nothing. She just goes, I'm so tired. Like she was a hostage or something. I swear to God. You know, so I was like, give me four of them chalupas and a large drink. And she has to move her mop and bucket over to the other register. For some reason, these two in front of her don't work, or she don't clock in yet. Or Who knows? Then I was like, hey, I need my cup. I got a large drink. Well, I must have startled the dude who was sleeping again, because when he woke up, he did one of them things like dogs when they would <laughs> like that, and he startled her. So she took my cup, bobbled it with this hand, fumbled it, hit her head, and mind you, she was bigger. She looked like Cartman with titties. So next thing you know, my large cup is on this shoulder, and she bends down like this to recover it, and she's like doing this shit with my cup on the back of her shoulder blades like a obese globetrotter, and somehow kept it in the air. I swear to God. That's been my day, man. I was like, fuck, I'm so tired. Well, why don't you make Coolio help you? I don't even work here. Why am I directing traffic? Ah!